Hello guys, Ingemar here and of course Tor as well, my assistant. <laughs> Today we're going to have a look at the Pathfinder system, a little overview how it works, what are the different functions. So let's start with it. To record a path with the Pathfinder system, we go to record path of course and then make sure that the automatic storage distance of the waypoints is set to your liking. You can switch it to off, then you have to record every waypoint manually or in this way I set it to 50 meters, so every 50 meters the system will record automatically a waypoint. Let's go again. On the Pathfinder screen you have the compass rows, the travel distance, waypoint number, of course we haven't started yet so it's waypoint number one, your coordinates, the number of satellites you receive, your altitude, of course, and the air pressure. Good, let's start moving. You will now see the travel distance increases. And once we pass 50 meters, the waypoint number will jump to the next. In sequence, number two, distance again back to zero. And that's how we record our track in a very, very basic way. If you want to add an extra point, for example, if there is a very winding road and you want to make sure you follow the right path, you just hit the record path button and it jumps or it adds another waypoint at the current position and you can do that as often as you like. Once you've done that it starts recording again in the automatic function every distance you select. Good, now we have recorded our path. So we go back, stop recording. I ask, the system asks you if you want to continue or of course we say no. Then a little pre-named file comes up. You can change that to demo one, save it. And now this file has been saved to the internal drive. Now it's transferred to the local storage. If I go to the path file transfer in the settings menu, I can go to the HDD, so the internal drive. That's May 2023. Let's have a look at there. There you can export the whole folder to a USB stick, for example. I have it now connected so we can see the demo, uh, the GPX here. I put the transfer icon and it's automatically transferred to the connected USB-A or C device. If we go now back, that will be our USB-A that is connected my USB stick and you can see the demo GPX has been transferred to that one. Works also vice versa. I can actually select one of those uh, GPX files and just import it to my HDD. Okay, if we want to follow now our recorded path, we are in the off-road menu, Pathfinder menu, go to follow path, select the source where our file is stored, it's the local one, and I will select the demo one from before. And now it asks you if you wanna follow the path in the recorded order or in the reverse order. Since you wanna drive it back down, go reverse. And we just wanna make sure that the automatic next point function um, is set to a specific value. I will again go to 50 meters. That means 50 meters before the next waypoint, it will jump to the following waypoint. Just make sure that it's selected. Now we have a 
very easy. Um, display again with the coordinates, the arrow where the next waypoint is, the distance to the next waypoint, and that's the waypoint number two because the first one is just where we are. There you go. You can manually jump to the next waypoint or go back one step. Let's go there. You can see now approaching the waypoint 56 at 50 meters. It jumps to the next waypoint number three, 85 meters this way. So again, very simple system. So this was a short introduction to the Pathfinder system, Ineos's own basic navigation system. I hope you could find some interesting information in this short clip and hope to see you soon. Thank you very much.